wait, no, 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 wait, 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 slow down. Welcome back, girl. Hello, hello, hello. Hola. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Yeah, girl. Okay, today we are doing something that is well freaking needed. We're doing a deep skincare routine. <laughs> Itch. Girl, I am like ready. I'm excited. And I have like a lot of skincare tips for y'all. So let's go ahead and get into this video. But before we do, make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe, baby girl. Go ahead and watch my last video if you have not. Follow me on all of my social medias. They are linked down below. And let's go ahead and get into this video. You know me, girl. I write everything that I need to write down. So all the notes and tips and whatever I need to get into, I'm going to get into it. <laughs> so excited. I'm so excited. Like, girl, y'all do not understand how bad my skin needs this. Like, it's just crazy. First, I'm going to wipe off any dirt. I use the Garniger. I think that's how you say that. Garniger Skin Active um cleansing water i really love this stuff because i don't know i kind of like grew out of makeup wipes a little bit makeup wipes just weren't for me and i feel like this actually removes any dirt any makeup i have on that day sweat anything girl just anything first tip of the skincare clean your face with this stuff before you actually wash your face clean it from any dirt any makeup even if you didn't wear any makeup that they use that stuff before you actually wash your face see it just like completely cleanses it i feel like i scratched myself right there y'all i'm not sure but y'all are getting the skin in full effect this is the skin and i love it like my skin is so pretty to me next we are gonna do our face i actually started using this product maybe like a year or two ago and i absolutely like love it it's really good to me for a face wash this is the pacifica acne defense face wash it's dermatologist dermatologist tested <laughs> allergy tested in a safe for sensitive skin that's why i use it even if you don't have sensitive skin i would highly suggest to use a face wash that is for sensitive skin just something about it like it just it's very light it's very gentle you don't want to use a face wash that is too dry like it'll dry your skin completely out before i wash my face another tip is always wash your face with clean hands do not wash your face if your hands is not clean i wash my face in the shower that's just what i prefer honestly i don't like washing my face on the sink but i'm just doing this for y'all and then i do wash like my hands with the soap in the shower before i touch my face it's just something about that that's just so icky to me that don't when you don't wash your hands before you wash your face what i take is about three pumps of this but i do like a wash rinse and repeat type of thing with my skin kind of like how you do with your hair and i wash between like medium to cold water but it's closer to cold water i don't like when it's like really hot on my skin i don't know it just irri it's very irritating you want to make sure you really get your neck oh what if that tickle <laughs> So girl, for the repeat step, I'm going to use this exfoliating facial pad. And that goes into our next tip. Be sure to exfoliate your face. Like always exfoliate your skin, your face, your body, like your legs, your arms, etc, etc. Actually, I'm not going to use this one. This one is old. Oh my god, it's disgusting. We had to toss that one out. So I'm going to use this brand new one that I got. So I take some of my face wash i wet it a little bit and i just get into it i do it very gentle like i said i have really sensitive skin y'all and anything can like break my skin out and mess it up there's another thing i used to use in high school y'all know the facial brushes i do not like those anymore those for some reason were so rough on my skin i would use the softest bristle and it still would be horrible on my damn skin i just find this one to be very gentle on my skin now i'm going to rinse my face with cold water y'all i know i know bitch i know it's gonna be cold but rinse your face with cold water only and then air dry your face mm -hmm. air dry it by the time i wash my face get out the shower dry off and do my body care um, my face is dry that way i can go ahead and go into my skincare that's why i wash my face in the shower it's so much easier if you're going to dry your face you need like a towel or something like that i would suggest dry your face with a baby washcloth or a baby rag or use a t-shirt something like that something that's soft don't really have any like harsh things on it 
but if you can just air dry your face y'all it, it's it's just so much better while i do my lip care i'm just gonna let the rest of my face just kind of dry with the air i take this lip scrub i believe i got it from bath and body works i've only used it a few times y'all it's not really like <laughs> something to die for but it's like it's okay well that's a lot and i would say you can do this for about a minute another tip for skincare is drink water you have to drink water if you want clear skin pretty glowing skin you have to drink more water like it's just a fact if you can drink like a gallon a day if you can but girl if you cannot you can start with half a gallon a day that's four water bottles drink that and then two you can like wing yourself up to a gallon a day so my lip scrub has dissolved as you can see it looks messy now y'all it looks completely messy honey so i'm going to rinse this off I'm just gonna pat dry them yeah feeling great they feeling very smooth next we're gonna touch up the stash <laughs> we're gonna get rid of the stash okay this is what i use this is the nomo stash oh okay that's cute no one i actually say it i use the dead sea minerals vitamin c skin serum i'm just gonna take a little bit and just put it on the top of my lid this is good to um why you want to exfoliate not just on your lips but kind of like y'all see how i was doing it kind of like everywhere just kind of get rid of that honey because she gotta go another skincare tip is when you are like shaving your face or your stash or whatever make sure you pull your skin back like this and go in like a a angle type of thing don't go right on it but go in like an angle type of motion so let me show y'all oh <laughs> oh shoot oh am freaking a g i don't know why that is like so satisfying to me sometimes like look at it that's disgusting okay that's nasty i use a warm cotton pad to clean the rest of the hair is off now we can go into my favorite part girl we got to my favorite part my skincare mask no matter what do a skincare mask so that's the next tip always do a skincare mask i highly suggest doing one like once a week this is the one i just started using i actually bought it because it has aloe vera in it it's a jelly mask this one is from ulta probably was like 15 dollars or maybe less it says leave on overnight and rinse off in the morning but since I'm not going to leave it on overnight because I have to do my other skincare and stuff. I'm going to leave it on for about 15 to 20 minutes and then let it get into the skin and then I'm going to rinse it off. For the applicator, I got this one. This is the I Do Care. About $10 at Ulta. And I just take about, let me see, that much of the jelly mask. Oh, it's like so good. And it smells so freaking nice. Like, look at that, girl. <gasps> girl you can see the freaking hydration already it's very lightweight y'all it doesn't have much of a like a strong smell it has that healthy clean type of smell another skincare tip is do not pop your pimples like girl do not pop your pimples don't let anybody pop your pimples leave your pimples alone i'm gonna show y'all a product that i use to get rid of my pimples boom girl Mm. these are the mighty patch i use the original con um you can get these from target you can get them at ulta you can get them i think at walmart i'm not 100 sure but i get mine from ulta as y'all can tell ulta is the stove okay ulta is the place to be you put these on for about like six to eight hours i usually sleep in them overnight or like wearing them while i'm at work and girl be gone the next day like why wasn't these in my life when i was like 12 and when acne was really starting to come but I need to set a timer. It's been about three minutes. So Alexa, set a timer for 12 minutes. 12 minutes. Starting now. Okay, y'all. So I still have that mask on, but I forgot to do my lip mask. Oh, y'all. It's so cute. Look at the lips. So I, so do I just put her on there? Wow. Okay. Um, I'm crazy. So you're supposed to move, remove both <laughs> outer layers and then only do the middle layer. This is the one you actually put on. <gasps> Oh, almost dropped it. Alexa, set a timer for 20 minutes. 20 minutes, starting now. Who lips are just deep. I mean, look at this. 
So face is completely like hydrated. I rinsed off the lip mask and the face mask. So now we can get into one of my favorite, favorite parts of my skincare routine is the actual skincare. First part of my skincare is my moisturizer that is the next tip you have to be sure to have a great moisturizer i use the cetaphil moisturizing lotion i like it because it's what it's for dry to normal skin and it's for sensitive skin so i take some on the back of my hand and just apply like a really good amount and i really just kind of like massage that in next on the skincare is my freaking charlotte tilbury Ooh, this is my favorite product this is charlotte ray's magic cream this thing just itself is 30 dollars, and i think this is the travel size i take a good amount you want to invest in great quality skincare the only thing when it comes into that just because it's expensive does not mean it's good skincare you can buy something that's like six dollars and it works best compared to something that's like eighty dollars and you also do not want to just invest into something because you see it on social media you have to really know your skin type and what works best for your skin i do all of my creams first and then i move into any serums and anything after that next tip is be sure to have a morning skincare routine and a night skincare routine you have to have both like it's just full effect so next i go in with my sunscreen this is the one i use i actually seen this from a girl on tiktok i cannot think of her name but ever since i use this love it the one thing about me y'all is i love beautiful glowing skin like i love when i get that compliment like oh girl your skin just looks so good like girl your skin has gotten so clear bitch <laughs> you said what just say that one more time i am taking the hawaiian tropic hydration weightless face sunscreen this is spf 30 this i do take a good amount but a little can go a long way this freaking sunscreen first of all does the job and it has the skin glowing and giving that glass like glow y'all like it's mad crazy like look at her wow i'm gonna move into my serums i go in with my charlotte tilbury this is her magic serum i take little and i just kind of put it under the eye y'all she has this um this eye serum that i want to use i love the applicator it's like that metal applicator so it's perfect for cooling like it's that gives that cool feeling under the eye girl oh i know it's so good and i just really want to try it let me get it with this serum it definitely has a smell like for a fact you can smell whatever it is in it it's not too overwhelming but if you're not big on like stuff with scents, I don't know how this would really work for you because it definitely has a scent in it. This is one of my favorite serums, y'all. Oh, this stuff is beautiful. Like it gives you the glow like no other. Girl, this is the watermelon dew drops from Glow Recipe. Now what they said on TikTok is true. This gives you an amazing, beautiful glow in my opinion. I do one pump. Like, can you see it? It's just so pretty that is on my hand girl can you see that bitch <laughs> like stop playing with her oh my god y'all i love this stuff a glow recipe the next skincare tip is to always wear sunscreen like y'all no matter what wear sunscreen i don't care what skin type you have what skin tone you have wearing sunscreen is to protect your skin i feel like <laughs> I'm gonna just be completely honest. Black people do not wear sunscreen. Like, I know a lot of black people that don't wear sunscreen are just like, I'm black. Okay? And you have skin. Wear sunscreen. Like, I don't understand how hard that is. You need to wear sunscreen no matter what skin tone you have. This is my favorite product, too. I only wear it in my night care. This is the CeraVe Healing Ointment. Sis, if you have acne want to get rid of your acne this is her she is it this is the one please please get this it gives like a vaseline consistency like can y'all see now since it's only in my night care i'm gonna put a very little amount on my face i know people gonna be like are you using that products? and do because all of them just works for different things but they all like work together 
Another skincare I would say is Pick Hair Skin and Nail Vitamins. I don't have any right now to show like ones I recommend. Once I do my research a little bit more, I'm gonna let y'all know. You know I'm gonna put y'all on. Another skincare tip is use a facial massage tool. Now, it just depends on what like step you want to do it in your skincare routine just as long as you use it i'm gonna use it afterwards after i really finish with all of the skincare the tip is research all products before you just go and buy them like just because somebody says it's good doesn't really mean it's good these products worked for me it took a while for me to really figure out what my skin type was what would have worked for my skin what won't break me out what will break me out i tested like a lot of products and did a lot of research before I found out what was good for me and my skin. And then once I did, honey, I didn't up. Another thing that is going to help with skincare is be sure to eat better. Definitely eat your vegetables, eat your fruits, seriously. Just eat better completely, eat your protein, etc., cetera, et cetera. All that junk food and sweets and stuff, honestly, it's just not necessary. Like, have some sweets here and there, yes, but just be sure to eat better. We're finished with the skin. This is what she's looking like. Oh, just so freaking pretty, just glowing like she's doing a thing. We're going to go into the lip. I always recommend having a lip gloss or Carmax or lip oil, something that is going to be hydrating for your lips. So my lips are extremely, like, dry right now. I'm going to use this shea butter. This is a lip therapy. I got this from the hair store. It's probably like 2 to $3. Like, just put some on the lips. This is the lip oil I use. It's from Ulta Beauty. This is their brand. And I just take a little bit. Uh, that is it for the skincare and the lip care. So pretty. The last tip I want to give y'all is to just be happy. Well, my skin and healthy skin comes with being happy, comes with no stress, comes with no negativity. It just comes with like being happy and take care of your skin. Like, I don't know. I love my skin. It's glowing. Always love the skin that you're in. Scars and all, boom. <laughs> Looking good, feeling good. Mm. Mm, like I just love it but thank you thank you thank you for watching my video so be sure to like comment share and subscribe follow me on all of my social medias they are linked down below and I will see y'all in my next video bye